Hi friends, it's Miss Marissa. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make apple crisp in a mug. So we're gonna start with an apple and we're gonna peel it and then we're gonna cut it sliced nice and thin first. And then we're gonna make our filling and then we're gonna make our crisp and then we're gonna put it in our mug. So first you're gonna take your apple. You can use any size, any flavor. It doesn't really matter. Um, the bigger the apple, the more slices you'll get if you're slicing them nice and thin. So you'll want to use a bigger mug if you can. You can use a mug, you can use a ramekin, you can use a microwave safe bowl. Um, whatever you have handy is fine. So we're going to just peel your apple the whole way. Uh, you can core it beforehand also if you have a core it's not necessary um, but you're not going to use your core anyway so it doesn't really matter if you do uh, so now we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut our apple And make sure you have a grown-up help you with this part if you're too little to use a knife yourself or if you're not really comfortable. Uh, you could also use an apple cutter if you have one, like that does the coring and the cutting at the same time. Uh, you'll just have to cut the slices thinner because the thicker they are, it's going to be take longer for them to cook. And we want them to cook pretty quickly in the microwave. So once your apples are peeled, you're just going to cut them nice and thin, just like that. So now that we have our apples cut, we're just going to hold them to the side for now, and we're going to make our filling. So what I'm going to do, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm using a measuring cup to put everything in. Uh, you don't need to use a measuring cup. You can use a bowl or anything you want. I just This is what I have that's clear so that I can show you guys what we need. So we need a half a tablespoon of melted butter, which is like a half of a tab of butter, sort of. It says it on the sticks of butter, how many, and you only want a half of the tab. And we want a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. We want a teaspoon of ground sugar. And we want some flour. And we're gonna mix that all together and then we're gonna mix that up with the apples. Okay, so here we have our half tablespoon of butter with our apples. We're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna take a big teaspoon of brown sugar and you can break that up too if you want if it's all clumpy and then we're gonna take the same teaspoon we're gonna take a teaspoon of flour and then you can take a spoon or a, uh, mixing anything that you have and you're just gonna mix all that together as our apple filling just like that and because there's only a little bit of liquid it's not gonna be soupy or anything like that it's everything's just gonna kind of sit on the apple if you can see just like that and that's okay it might be a little pasty too which is okay because it's all gonna melt once we cook it together so once you're done with that you're gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna make our crumble so now we're going to take two tablespoons of softened butter, but not melted, just softened like that. And then we're going to take a tablespoon of flour. I have it pre-mixed in here. It's all about a tablespoon. tablespoon of flour. We're going to take 
three tablespoons of our oats. One, two, three. We're going to take our tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm gonna add that. And then we're gonna take another quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And for this, you're gonna take a fork instead and you're just gonna smush it all together like this. And it's okay, it's not gonna be smooth. It's not meant to be smooth because it's a crumble. Uh, so it's gonna be sort of like um, a streusel or like something like that and should have this sort of consistency. Just like that. Once your crumble is done and once your apples are done, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take our apple mix like this and you're gonna take about half of it and put it into your microwave safe mug or ramekin or whatever it is that you have that you're gonna cook it in. If any of the filling is still on the spoon or anything, you can also spoon it into the apples. So you're gonna take about half of your apples and then you're gonna take about half of your crumble and put that on top of your apples. Like that. So, so far it's gonna look just like that. And then you're gonna take the rest of your apples and put that on top of the crisp part. And then you're gonna take the rest of your crisp and put it on top of that. And that's it. Now that you have your apple crisp in your mug, you're gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes and then let it cool for a minute or two because it's gonna be very, very hot when it comes out and you don't wanna burn yourself. So be very, very careful. Otherwise, have a great day. Enjoy your snack.